This is a weird spot, eh? It's all mirrors. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's Jordan here. Heading to the Lego store today, and I've got some exciting news. I actually got some inside information today, and apparently they're getting a huge shipment, and included in that shipment is a huge restock for the pad wall. So I'm like this guy right here. I'm not running from a bear, but I'm running to the Lego store. And there we have confirmation, everybody. You can actually look down into the Lego store and that is all fresh pad. Pretty exciting. I think it's on specific products. It's not on everything, but hey, better than nothing. I think I've got to get it. Got all the other Technic supercars. This one's probably a must. Looks like they're out of the GWPs because they used to be displayed right there behind that acrylic sign. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get this one eventually just because I've got, you know, the Porsche, the Ferrari, the Lamborghini, and the Bugatti, so I need the McLaren as well. Here we have West Edmonton Mall's World Water Park. Pretty sick, lots of water slides, and a massive wave pool. The curious thing about today is I'm actually going to the World Water Park after the Lego store, going with my family, my brother's family. It's gonna be an incredible time. Also, I got myself a Starbucks here. I discovered a little secret. If you redeem 25 Starbucks stars, you can get an additional shot of espresso. And now I can't speak and I'm hyped for the Lego store, ready to pack some boxes. It's gonna be awesome. It's about to open, so we better head there. <laughs> Look at that big fella right there. First off, we've got white masonry, also nougat, and up here there's the uh, 1x4 tan. 1x2x5 glass panels are always good. So are these for like constructing large things like mountains and all that, or construction sites, I guess. 1x1 sand. Blue tiles, you know I like those. Also one by four brick, one by two. These like connector elements and also these one by two like ratchet connectors. Nice and quiet here this morning, which is lovely. The pick and build wall is just stacked. We've got the uh, one by six by five glass panels there as well. Some two by four bricks, some of the minifig poser elements, which are always good. I've got a bunch of those though. Uh, you got some tires, woo! <laughs> also uh, one by 10 white bricks, which are fantastic. Some more two by four bricks there, some nougat arches. Also these, I like these for landscaping. And also this, I wanna try and create more water. I did some water using these in the medieval area and I wanna create more water using that. Uh, these slopes are always good for texturing all the green space in the city, which is good. We got the one by two by two glass panels there too. These are the daily bugle panels. Then we've got uh, some purple curved bricks. Don't need any of those. Also some uh, one by six black plates. Some of the large window frames, but they just have the doors for those, not the window glass. If they had the window glass, that would be pretty exciting. I've never seen that. Then we have the dark green tree limbs, which are dark green tree limbs. Also two by six uh, bricks. You can tell I'm excited. We've got some flame elements right here. Also the candlesticks. Whoa, I feel like those are a good pickup. The candlesticks, yeah, also one by three brick, three by three blue, dark blue plate, one by two palisade bricks, uh, some of these, which are good for creating like palm trees and adding just texture to your vegetation as well, or your grasslands or whatever it may be. Some one by six sand green, also some lamp posts there, some black brick, the panels. I saw four by four LBG plate, one by 10, light bluish gray, some rock panels right down here, four by six blue plate, two by four green brick, which is always good. I'll for sure be getting some of those. And of course I'll be getting some of that masonry as well. I actually need more one by two bricks. I saw them in white, black, and also the uh, translate blue. I need these because I actually do the perimeter of my base plate. So if this is the base plate, and I'm building a mills plate, we'll actually do the perimeter in one by twos because there's no sense in wasting two by twos, which technically costs more money. So I do the perimeter and then that just saves a bunch of two by two bricks. So I need more of those for my mills plates. So I'll be getting some one by two of just whatever color for that. There's also some slides down here, some fence elements. I think I saw the curved fence elements as well. So you can pair those up. It's a nice combo, especially if you can find like the, the tiles to top them. Some curved slopes up here as well. Some black connectors, one by one with the forward facing clip. This is nice. I've actually seen someone build a really cool pathway using these. They like embedded them in the plate and it was just like a really cool path. There's uh, headlight bricks and trans clear. 
Yeah, just like a whole bunch of parts on here today, which is excellent. Also right behind me here, this is where I'm stacking. So I'm starting to stack my uh, trans blue bricks. There are some one by four dark trans blue tiles. And then this stuff here is just like all restocked for the wall as well. So yeah, tons of boxes. They've just been like unpacking them all day. And you can see this is all overstock. Ooh, I actually didn't need these. I ran out of these because I like to build my uh, sapling trees using these. I pair them up with the brown antennas, which used to be on the pad wall. So I'll be getting some of those as well. So here we go. This is an example of a box that I packed. It took me about 25 minutes, probably just under. And this was like overflowing with these trans light blue one by two bricks. You can fit 19 bricks across. So you can see here I can fit probably two more layers. And then these layers here, I can fit probably three more layers. So you can fit quite a bit more. It just depends if you want to spend the time doing it or not. So I'm continuing to pack boxes here like crazy. My brother and his family's on the way here. So my packing will have to stop soon because we're going to go to the water park. But at least I got some good parts. Normally I would sit here for like five hours and pack boxes. Would it be worth it in the end? I, I seem to think so but that's not gonna be happening today. We're on the run to have fun elsewhere. All right, I'm all finished up at the water park. That was an epic time, ripping some water slides, hanging out in the uh, wave pool. And now I'm back at the Lego store. I was thinking to myself, it would be ideal to find more torsos that have like no shirts on or bathing suits on for the beach, but I'm never really able to find any here on the, uh, the BAM station. But there's all sorts of good stuff in here. Just gotta go for a dig, like look two by three magenta torsos or pink torsos. That's pretty cool. Look right here, they've got the uh, ice cream head decoration. I like this hair piece too. There's uh, Lion Knight shields in there. There's like eggs. It's a pretty cool accessory. These torsos are cool. It's like Fozzie Bear. Also, I see uh, pirate hats right there. This is not a bad deal either. You get Diagon Alley for $56 off or Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Cottage and you get $50 for the VIP points on that set. Pretty good discount. Oh, I've actually never seen this on the shelves. This is pretty neat. It's an eight in one Batman brickhead. Look at that, you get the Batman print piece that looks like that there and you can build any of these Batmans. It retails for uh, 33 Canadian. They actually do have a GWP right now too. It's a uh, little trophy, and if you spend 110 Canadian, you get that for free, so that's not bad at all. I think it has like a $17 value. As we saw near the beginning of this video, they're doing double points on certain products, such as the Coruscant Guard gunship. Also, the massive UCS Razor Crest. Looks like Ahsoka's clone troopers are on sale. They're 20% off, so they're $20 rather than 25. And the mechs are on sale as well. The Mandalorian N1 Starfighter, which was overpriced to begin with, to be honest with you. This is the Micro Fighter, but you get Grogu and the Mandalorian is on sale for $15.99, regular price $20 here in Canada. And same with uh, the Yavin 4 Rebel Base. $220 normally, and it's on for $176. This is a good sale for Boosh as well. So it's regular $90, on for $72. So nearly $20 off. Looks like uh, Hocus Pocus is also included in that double points promotion. And then Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight Over London is uh, $63.99 on sale. This one's on sale too, actually. It's not bad, it's 40 bucks. And you get all of these Disney minifigures. I believe these ones are like exclusive to this set. And you also get Woody, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Moana. Not bad at all. Looks like you can get 5,000 points if you pick up a Pac-Man, a Concorde, or even a Land Rover Classic Defender 90. That big Lego City crane that I've been eyeing up is not in stock, so I won't be getting that no matter what. I do not need another one of these, but I feel like 20% off for the Ghost and Phantom 2 is a decent grab. So it's like 168 from 210. Millie, you look a little bit tired. Did you have a fun day at the water park? How about you, Ben? Oh yeah, they were splish splashing all over the place, weren't you? There's actually two new sculptures here at the Lego store too. Look, it's holding a giant pencil. This is like part of the uh, Dreams lineup here. So look at this. 18,317 pieces, 34 kilograms, 80 hours to construct. This one's pretty cool too. 24,957 pieces in this one, 41 kilograms and 100 hours to construct.
So we're back from the Lego store and also the water park and sitting on the doorstep was this little gem. This is actually a, uh, a box from Lego. Yeah, I ordered this uh, right when that new GWP went live with the, uh, the little space guy. I was pretty excited about it. This GWP right here, awesome one. So decided to order 999 2x4 dark bluish gray tiles because we need them for the road plates, the train yard, anywhere that there's those road plates that we use essentially, and then also for the train track. I kept running out of these, so I decided to order 999 of those. And then also an assortment of 1x4, 1x6, and 1x8 LDG tiles just because I kept running out of those as well. So decided to order that. Got a free GWP, it seemed like a good time to do it. And today, I ended up making a couple purchases, so we actually got two GWPs from the LEGO store as well. So two of these little trophy award GWPs, which I think is great actually. It comes with a pretty cool sticker sheet and looks like a cool little trophy. Yeah, I sort of dig that. 157 pieces, not bad at all. And how did I get that? Well. 11 boxes of pad. <laughs> you probably expected that. Uh, we saw there was some pretty good parts there uh, on the pad wall. I decided to get more of these. Uh, I always use two by two plates, like I use quite a bit of them. So in here I've got uh, LBG two by two plates. Uh, I use a lot of them because for example, that gravel road, it's two plates off the ground. So I got the one plate and then the reddish brown on top and then the texturing. So I've been using a lot of those for like a mills underlie for the gravel road and for other areas look at that an entire box of masons i uh, didn't have enough time to pack this one you saw how much more you get when you actually pack it but i just ran out of time boom another box of masons i actually did a terrible job this isn't even full <laughs> that's, that's brutal i could have fit like probably 50 more pieces in there not even packed oh, whoops <laughs> my bad i guess i was just a little bit rushed today it's all good though, we had a lot of fun. This one's professionally packed, I like that. And this is just gonna be like a solid block if I flip it over. Look at that. Woo, that's uh, a much preferable box to an eight empty, I feel. Okay, that was sort of a mistake there, but I was just, like I mentioned, a little bit rushed near the end of the, uh, the trip there. But it's uh, mason, so I really don't uh, really don't mind that. Another really well packed mason box. We've got uh, one by four tans, and also some uh, nougat in there. Look at that. So these, I actually use them for the walls outside the amusement park. I, I mix them in with the one by six by five glass panels, and I built like these little viewing walls, which are really cool. And then these. I built for a different uh, wall around the train track in the Lego city. And what I did is actually paired these up with either uh, the studs not on top bricks, the ones with the forward facing stud or the brackets and I have like um, a vegetation creeping up the wall. I also pair them up with other um, nougat pieces so that they all interlock and everything. So I love using nougat or any masonry bricks for creating walls in the city. The light gray ones, I use a lot of them for those uh, train track walls. And they just come in, sorry, not, the raised elevation, she's the elevated platform walls is what I use, them for, the platform coverings. So yeah, as you know, masonry bricks are really good for, for uh, building that type of stuff. And I was surprised how many they had there today. Everybody who was there made out like a bandit, to be honest with you, for a good while too. Even when I went back the second time, they had more mason on the wall. So it's probably gone by the time this video launches, but they had more mason on the wall. They let me know and it's like, oh yeah, sort of in a rush to get out of here. It's all good. We got lots. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Why so much of all Lego stores always, uh, always loading it up. So yeah, uh, this is pretty epic. <laughs> this is pretty epic indeed. One more box of light gray. <laughs> uh, my camera lady is pretty impressed right now. And then this is the, uh, really well packed box of um, bricks, mostly the translate to Like, wow, <laughs> that was impressive. And they had more, they had more there. Uh, 
And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe we're not going to load up anymore. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's not overstay our welcome. So I just checked out some of the sets after swimming there with the kids, and then we, we rolled out. Uh, but with the um, two-by-four piles, I'm going to be able to start working on some city projects right away. And also, I ran out of the light gray masons, and now we have them. I was actually stealing them all from the mansion when we were building the raised platform coverings. I was like stealing the pillars on the outside of the mansion. So if I choose to replace those, I can do that. And also now when I'm building more platform coverings, I have more masons, so that's good. And also the amusement park layout is much, much bigger than the existing one. So I'm gonna have to increase the size of the uh, walls that go around the train track. So we've got all those parts there. So pretty excited. There we go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe and stay tuned. Farewell.